One of the most crazy thing you can see in this filthy attack of terrorism of Muhammad that those Jews who they always support support I'm not joking they support Hamas this music festival are the same people who go in the street holding the so-called Palestinian flag they are the so same people who call anyone to speak against Islam, I'm Islamophobic. They are the same people. The hippie, the liberals, are the first one to be targeted and to be killed and slaughtered. In fact, the reason they are there is just to support the Islamic state of Hamas. Those hippie people, they think, they are dreamers. They are brainwashed. They think the problem is Israel. And this is why they decided to go close to the borders of Hamas. Very close. Did you ask yourself why they are even doing it there? I mean, what is there? It's just a desert. But those hippie-minded, brainwashed people who have been taught by stupid teachers when they were kids that Hamas are peace. And Muslim, they love you. And Christians are your enemy. That remind me of a woman she used to keep posting uh, in her Facebook and Twitter against Islamophobic. I think it was in uh, Sweden or Denmark. I forgot where. She was the, first, the same one. She was stabbed more than 20 times by a jihadist. So I hope the Israeli now, they will stop using their brain. Stop using the brain which is brainwashed by people this, like this man, who day and night, he defend Hamas. Because when you defend Muhammad, the one who says kill the Jews, wherever you find them, there's a Jew behind me, behind the tree. Kill him. This is what Muhammad said the Muslim should do. Those filthy people are the one who bring destruction to their own nation. So those kids, they are victims of Toweeva Singer and his kind, his species. They taught them false information about what Islam is about and what Islam wants from the Jews. Those idiots... They think they can live in peace with someone believe that killing the Jew is part of his religion. Those idiots believe, and I'm talking about Tuiva Singer, that if we attack a Christianity, we can get a closer to Muslims and we can be friends and have business and sell diamonds and open banks in their states. Wake up, Israeli. Don't let someone like this rat to weave a singer. Send your children to festival of peace, which has never exist and will never exist. You did sign a peace agreement with many Muslim countries just yesterday. Six Israeli tourists killed by a policeman in Egypt. So the idiot who think that if he sign an agreement with the government, that means he signed an agreement with the Muslims. Most of those governments don't even represent the population. So the stupid ones is the one who goes to support the enemy economy. Just because you want to have a sun tan on your skin, or you want to visit an ancient building in Egypt, and then you risk your life and you pay for it. Did you sign a peace agreement with Imarat? Let us see what will happen in Imarat. In Imarat now, they are collecting every Israeli, taking them into protection, the government, because they fear the population, they will do something. Which country you have a very good relationship with? Azerbaijan? Which one? All of them, they are your enemy for very simple reason. Muhammad is their prophet, 
and he is the one who said, kill them wherever you find them. This is the former Prime Minister of Israel. This maniac, just a few weeks before he left the office, he made a speech, and I think it was in the United Nations, saying that Prophet Muhammad never taught any hate against the Jews, and never Islam does not teach anti-Semitism at all. Those are your leaders. Businessmen. The one you have right now, he is kissing the ass, Netanyahu, of every single Muslim leader just to do business. They sold you out. The liber liberals and the conservatives in Israel, they lost their mind. They think they can have a partnership with the devil. You bring the devil to your home. The devil will take over. The messenger of Allah said, P-B-U-H, which means P, uh, you know, it's kind of a urine stuff. They cannot even say the name of Muhammad without adding long line of praising for the criminal Muhammad. At the last hour will not come until the Muslims fight against the Jews, until the Jew hide himself behind a stone or a tree, and the stone or the tree will say, oh, Muslims, there's a Jew behind me, come and kill him. Oh, this is Da'if Hadith, but this is Al-Bukhari and Muslim. It is Da'if Bukhari and Da'if Muslim, but the Prophet was Da'if, Muslim was Da'if. And now, after all what happened, do you think the Jews will learn that peace agreement with those people is just a joke? And they are just preparing themselves for the day they are strong, so they can destroy Israel? Let us check the Quran. In the chapter 47, the chapter of the faith in Muhammad, it says, So do not fight and call for peace. The translation is not accurate, saying, You shall be the upper, more, upper ones. God is with you. The real translation is, Don't faint, call for peace when you are the uppermost. Miracles happen when you change the translation or the translator. Muhammad, Hilali, and Khan. So be not weak and ask, for, ask not for peace from the enemy of Islam while you are having the upper hand. So what is that saying? You go for peace when you don't have the upper hand. And when you are ready, you slaughter them all. And this was the tactic of the filthy dog, Muhammad. And if you are a Jew or a Christian or a Hindu or a Buddhist, I don't care who you are, or an atheist, stupid you are if you think that this religion can ever bring peace anywhere in the world. Anywhere. Because remember, we are talking about religion, not about people. People will be under the influence of what Muhammad claimed to be from his God. So if somebody says, I'm a Muslim, do he believe in this? Absolutely. If you don't, well, even if his name is Muhammad, he's not a Muslim. So Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar, whatever, Qatar did not. Actually, Qatar is the number one supporters of Hamas. And until now, nobody talking about it. Until now, nobody speaking. Who is the one who is funding? They keep saying Iran, Iran, Iran. The fact, the biggest head of a snake ever you can imagine for terrorism, specifically Hamas and Al-Qaeda, is Qatar. Qatar prince, so-called prince, is a Muslim brotherhood, same as the filthy son of Muta Erdogan. So I say to those fools who they think they can build bridges and the stupid things they keep talking about. Or those priests who say, Muslims are loving people, they love us. Fraud. Liars. Deceivers. When we say Muslims, we are talking about somebody believing this. Believe in killing every single Jew, every single Christian, as chapter 9 verse 29 says. When we say Muslim, we talk about chapter 5 verse 51 says, Take not Christian and Jews as friends. So when a priest or a politician, he say to you, Islam teach love, Islam mean peace, like every scumbag we saw in TV for the last 20 years, starting from George W. Bush. 
The only one actually say the truth about Islam is Trump. But Trump, because he's a businessman, is a corrupt at the end of the day. He was the first one to shake hands with Qatar. In fact, he left the sanctions of Saudi Arabia over Qatar. And he is the same person who went in the front of the White House saying, it is time for Qatar to stop supporting terrorism. Two weeks after, Qatar rented a big building of his son-in-law, which is going to be corrupt, actually bankrupt. One billion dollar. Since then, Qatar is our best friend, according to Trump. Wake up. Don't be a fool. And don't be a dummy. Biden, the filthy, he just sponsored Hamas a few weeks ago, gave Iran $6 billion. In fact, he's working hard to lift all sanctions on Iran because he is the puppy of Obama, the Shia Muslim Obama. Obama is a Shia Muslim. He sponsored Hezbollah in Iran. This is why you see anytime Obama is in the office, Iran is a flourishing. Biden came. The first thing he did, he took all, he, he tried his best actually to take all the sanctions. And until now, he said in TV, and his administration, they said, there is no proof that Iran is involved in this. There is no proof. No proof. I mean, the Iranian TV, they say, we are the one who support Iran, uh, uh, Hamas. Hamas, they say, thank you, Iran, for supporting us. And the potato, the son of Biden and his puppies, they say, there is no proof. Because simply, he is the puppy of Obama. So... We are here to share the truth with you. I am not in the charge of an army and not in a position to make decision. But I am in a position to share my knowledge with you. So you will not be deceived by so-called conservative who usually they make business deal with the devil like Trump and so-called liberals who they are worshipping the devil like Biden. And Netanyahu who he claimed that he is going to defend Israel is no better. This is why I don't have a high expectation of what will happen. He, now he's been forced to do something. He had no choice. Otherwise, this potato, he will never do anything like that. So whatever you see is going to happen in the coming few days, not because he is a hero, but because he's been forced to. In fact, Netanyahu is trying to build a nuclear facility for Saudi Arabia in exchange for what peace? You stupid idiot, you give them a nuclear facility, they will bomb you as soon as they have it. Dummy, stupid idiots. They arm them. They empower them. They support them. And when they attack, they cry. Look what they are doing. You harvest your evil seed. The American they supported Osama bin Laden. Oh, he's fighting the Soviet Union. Let us use those jihadists to fight the Soviet Union. We give them missile. We give them a training. We teach, we teach them how to do suicide bombing. And <laughs> as usual, the dog bite his master because this is a beast, not a dog. All of them are donkeys, coward liars. And now, those poor people... In the music festival, I'm sure now you are convinced that peace with Islam is possible. Don't forget next time to hold the Palestinian flag and say peace is possible. Don't. Please. Dummies. And this earth is full of them. Leave your comment. I know many of you will not like what I'm saying. But who care? I say it as it is. Without makeup. How many girls are being raped. From those peace lovers. Did you see the women? She have a blood between her, between her legs. 
Did you see it? No, you did not. Hippies. Hippie-minded Israeli liberals. They think peace festival will make peace. They try to find any occasion for like, you know, peace. We are, you know, un <laughs> unbelievable. Sad. Very sad. But I hope that will be a lesson for all those brainwashed people. We can say to the dead one, I hope you learned your lesson. But we hope to say that the one who is still alive, he will know what's exactly going on. Thank you. God bless you all. And me, myself, I support Israel, but I don't support a filthy coward like Netanyahu until he proved that he is not a coward. So let us see. Take care.